Welcome back, guys. Pulling out my daughter here today. Alright, so I want to give you all another story today. I was sitting here and I was thinking about it. And I just decided that I'll share it with you guys. So, there was this particular cousin that was living with me at one point. And one day, all the while, she lived with me, but all the while, me always a cook. So, but trust me, she was a clean freak. So, at my house, but if I ever walk in there with my dirty foot, it's like this girl who I lick my dog for walking in my own house with dirty foot. But she was a real clean freak. Lo and behold, one day I go up on the road and she said she had a cook. So I had some chicken foot in the fridge. Yeah, chicken foot, you know. I mean, you love curry chicken foot. So I said, Yes, girl, cook curry chicken foot. So I went on the road and I'm come back off of the road. Hungry, I'm walking on my skin, you know. Me I tell you, hungry, I'm walking on my skin. So I bust the patty, you know, and ready for go eat some food. Cheer out the food. Not even a two penny when me are sharing them, just share the food and go sit down. When me sit down, well cut my tent in the city, you know, and forgot to eat. And bust one of the chicken food. People, you would not believe that the tent to what they still left on the chicken food. <laughs> and now the girl don't cut off one of the two half of the chicken food. I was so disappointed. May I tell you? No, may I tell you, may I tell you, I never ever in my life to somebody cook chicken foot and don't go to have two of them half of them. I didn't want to ball the day. And trust me, I'm good for balling when it comes to food. So, let me give you one balling story too. So, I remember going when I was going to school because I was living with my spouse while going to high school at the age of 17 I went it, 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 we were having a relationship and so turns out I went to live with him at the age of 17 for obvious reasons so I was going to school in Kingston so I was going to um, Vauxhall High School and Vauxhall was a shift school so that very day I was an even shift so I come from school a little late because I go to school 12 o'clock. When I go to school in the morning, I never really have no money, so I never really get no money for buy lunch. But to even shift, I did eat before I left the yard. And I said, by the time I come back home, dinner is already. So I now wear myself, I just want to fear I'm good. People, when we come from school in about 7.30, I go to 8 o'clock in the night. Come in at the house, I say, no food. And I tell me, I tell you, say, no hungry, I lick me, you know. Like, literally hungry, I lick me, come on, but I left yard from 12 o'clock for gas free. Left yard free at school, 12 o'clock. So, I'm hungry. Anyway, I say to him, say, brother, you don't cook no food? He must say, no. So I sit down for the bed and I said, God, imagine me go to school hungry and come back and no food in the house. I literally start ball. Yeah, I want to start running out of my eye. The man sit down and dead with laugh. I get upset now because I say, oh, if you laugh at me hungry and a ball. He <laughs> really never cook still, you know, but he did have something for me to eat. <laughs> so he get up after the bed. And take up and cover something on the table and say, See something for your eat, man. Where you coming to the house? Ha ha! You're a telepeople. No, man, I ramp with my food. Literally, when me hungry, my head start hurt me. And if you know me, you know something you can eat. Me will eat my food. You know, see my size? Me eat my food. So, yeah. And that's how the story go. So, remember now. Like, share, comment, and if you have not subscribed as yet, please subscribe so when I send out my videos, you'll be the first to know. Peace out.